So I've never seen anything like this in my life. Soft guy era has women in full panic mode. You know, there are so many videos right now of women disrespecting men. I did a video earlier where we discussed, you know, that men are basically clamming up when it comes to relationships and dating now. Men don't even want to speak to women. The very few men that are still going on dates with women are choosing to just remain silent. Women are furious. Men are starting to just not speak to them. They don't want to speak to them on social media. They don't want to speak to them in person. And women are very, very angry about this. You know, what if the people who are discussing this said that men are now a commodity, you know, because men are going on fewer dates. And a woman heard this and she immediately, you know, she was in, in part of the discussion. She became furious saying men, a com he said men and women are a commodity. And she goes, men, a commodity. You've got to be. She's like, no. And she just, she just basically laughed. So even the, fa the the very fact that men are walking away from relationships and dating, and then it's being said that listen, men are in short supply right now, and you know, and they have intrinsic value, and you know, women and the the idea that men have value, you know, so it's something that women are just they're furious to admit it, you know, they are furious to admit that men are in a limited supply. They're 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 furious to admit that. That you know that men are that are avoiding them and, and checking out on them, and their 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 answer is to shame men, attack men, and continue to put down men. You know, Brett Cooper, she actually pointed it out. She said that here you have the passport guys, the passport kings, you know, heading over to Asia, and she said that we're just going to allow our men to run away to Asia. You know, and she just she laughed about it, but this is the reality of it. Like women don't understand the concept that. You know, when men walk away, when, you know, a country without its men is not a country. A country without its men is a wasteland. When a country is on the brink of collapse, what do they do? They ban the men 18 and older from leaving the country because without the men, there is no country. It's very sad to say this, guys, but even when a country is going through a crisis or a war or anything like that, and they bar the men from leaving, even after the crisis has ended, even after the war has ended, the men still are not allowed to leave the country. It's a sad, sad thing to say, but they st the men are still not allowed to leave the country. You're going to say, well, why, why is that? Even after the crisis has passed, the men are barred from leaving the country because the country has to be rebuilt. And if they open up, if they allow the men to leave the country after the crisis has passed, the men were going to say, what the hell? I don't want to be in this car. I don't want to be in this hell hole. Why, why am I being trapped in this hell hole for? You're being trapped in this hell hole because the women get to leave. You're forced to stay. You're forced to stay and you're going to have to rebuild. And if you don't like sleeping in garbage, if you don't like, if you don't like not having internet, if you don't like the state of the country, you're going to have to find a way to rebuild the country and make it livable again. And only when the country is livable again will we think about allowing you to leave. This is that's the reality of the world. You see, like th that's whenever something like something happens, the women immediately flee and the men are held there and held responsible and accountable for a society that they don't want to be in. They are trapped like animals. And they're basically told, either you figure out how to fix our society, how to rebuild our society, how to contribute and rebuild a society that hates you as a man, or else you will, you will die here. This is like, like that, that's that's something that you men need to understand. Like we're constantly going into all of these battles about, you know, the INCLs and also the nonsense. Let me tell you all something. Modern women in general, they hate us. They hate us. And society has always hated men. These societies hate men, even though they cannot survive without men. And when things get so bad, when things get bad enough, what do they do? When they get bad enough, they turn around. And they go to great lengths to prevent men from leaving because a society without its men is not a society. A country without its men is not a country. It is a wasteland. If you can't see it, guys, right now society in West Western society is in a total spot and a massive decline. 
you know, I often complain about Gen Z, and it's just I'm, I'm exhausted with these guys. I'm going to tell you right now, I see people in the comments that are constantly trying to get me to stop making content. They're like, okay, well, Andrew, you need a break. You know, you need a break. What am I supposed to do? Well, what you need, you should leave. You should leave, and then once you've once you've calmed down and you feel better, that's when you can return to making content. Guys, do you see how stupid these people are? Like life for men will never be easy. Life for men is a is just a suffering, but that's that's our superpower. You know, we can suffer, we can suffer and keep on suffering in ways that women cannot, because women cannot suffer. Women cannot suffer, guys. This is the crazy thing. This is the wondrous thing that this is the power that men have that women don't have. We men can suffer, and that's the reason why. Like I said, when a country is is no, is basically on the brink of collapse or it's practically damn near collapsed, they keep the men. They demand that they, they do not allow the men to leave the country. They they allow women to leave. They bar the men from leaving the country because they're like, listen. If the men leave the country, there's no country anymore. It gets taken over. It's imperialism. We still have imperialism in today's day and age. And then you see that there's a power struggle, different countries fighting for it, or factions within the country fighting for it. It is an absolute wasteland. And you've seen this play out time and time again in different places in the world. And of course, the women, they turn around and say that they are the greatest victims, even though it's men who fight the wars, even though it's men who are the ones who lose their lives in the wars, women say that they're the ones who suffer the most because they have to live on after the men are gone. My God. You know, there's this thing going on in Ch in uh, China. There's this thing going on in South Korea. It's called the 4B movement, and it's expanding right now to the United States. So... This is crazy. You know, we, we've had we had fifth wave feminism. Well, fourth wave feminism and fourth wave feminism was essentially online feminism. And now you have the 4B movement in Japan, Japan and South Korea. The, the 4B movement is such a very strange thing because the 4B movement is basically an extinction. Is it is a it's an extinction extinctionary push. So the four they have it's it, the the four B movement in South Korea is it's a it's a it's a segment of extinct if of feminism but it, it's part of radical feminism. It's a radical feminist movement which is purported to have originated in South Korea in in two, 2019, and it propon its proponents renounce dating men, marriage, physical intimacy with men, and having children. So you have to understand it's a complete and utter. It's 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 a path towards 100% extinction. It is a push for extinction by women. Okay. So the 4B movement gained gained initially initially gained recognition on Twitter in 2019 and through various feminist social media accounts. And one notable feature of the 4B movement, as with other Korean digital feminist movements is that members identify themselves as anonymous women as it is conventional not to disclose personal details online so these women are basically this it's 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 a it's it's a push for destruction all right and there's actually four pillars there are four pillars of the 4B movement it's pretty amazing and this is a this is a win for men this is not a win for women this is a win for men they're they're in, guys it's like i said they're in a complete spiral here are the four b's of i mean it sounds kind of like of like mgtow but for women this is basically a the end of the edge for them all right so it's the four no's no physical intimacy with men no child re rearing so do not so don't have children don't raise children no dating men no marriage guys do you see guys this is this is in and of itself is essentially gender segregation. This is MGTOW in many ways. And then many of you guys will say, angry, this is not true. A lot of MGTOWs don't want to admit what MGTOW is today. It's about separating oneself, it's about separating oneself socially, financially, economically from women in the state. This is this is what 4B is now. Okay, but it's different when men do it. When men walk away, men live happy, healthy lives. When women do it, they have nothing. 
Okay? Women cannot survive without men. The world is a cold, dark place without men. By the way, guys, don't forget I have another channel called Angry where I discuss gaming, anime, geek stuff, nerd stuff, real world stuff, and whatever else interests me. There's a link to it in the description of the video. Go check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Support my work. And also, if you're enjoying the content on the Angry Guy channel and you want even more of this content, head over to the Men Walking Away channel. There's a link to that to the Men Walking Away channel in the description of the video. I post daily videos on the Men Walking Away channel. So if you want even more Angry Guy videos, head over to Men Walking Away. There's a link to it in the description of the video. Subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the content. Support my work. I mean, guys, soft guy era has women in a in full pa on panic mode. I've never seen anything like this. I'm seeing videos online right now where they are going absolutely furious, especially black women. They're going ballistic over the soft guy era, and that just shows how effective it truly is. Let me know your thoughts on this, and we'll talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.